Established in 1850, the Met Office in the UK is the world's oldest forecasting organization. They're relied upon to produce regular daily weather reports, hours and days ahead. The key challenge is the sheer amount of data the scientists are required to analyze. In order to predict the weather, you need to collect a huge volume of data. And so that includes satellite observations, measurements made at the ground, measurements made by ships, by aircraft, and various techniques. All these have to be combined to create a picture of what's happening to the weather at the moment. And it is from that picture that you can forecast the weather over the coming hours and days. The only way they can approach a solution to this problem is by using a supercomputer. They needed the fastest and most reliable machine they could find. Situated in brand new premises in Exeter, England, they installed the super-fast multi-node NEC SX8 system as the hub of their forecasting. The SX8 is quite simply one of the biggest and fastest computers in the world. It's the equivalent of three and a half thousand PCs with a main memory of nearly 2,000 terabytes and a capability of more than a trillion calculations per second. The mathematical models that we use now are extremely complex to represent the atmosphere, the oceans, the land, the ice, etc. So they're extremely complex pieces of code. NEC's reputation for reliability was vital for the relationship with the Met Office. Since NEC were appointed as contractor, they have worked very hard to make sure that they understand our business, that NEC have become, the team from NEC have become integrated very much into the Met Office team. They really have become an integrated and seamless component of the Met Office operation. People all over the UK benefit from the weather forecasts produced by the NEC SX8. But there's one more area where the supercomputers used that's of concern to the whole planet, global warming. Clearly, climate change is the single biggest challenge facing society today, and the impacts of it are likely to be huge. Forecasting the weather and climate change is, is, demands really sophisticated and very complex models. Having a supercomputer of the, the size and capability that the NEC offers really enables us to do what really is probably the most sophisticated type of modelling that is carried out in anywhere in the world. Predicting global warming and the weather using the NEC supercomputer. It's a vital partnership using technology to help the world. Empowered by innovation, NEC.